Alrighty. Okay, did we do it? Are we good? Hello, guys. Oh my goodness. Do we sound good? Does everything look good? Are we good? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so out of breath. A Disney package just came and I lost my mind for a second. So <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, take me a second here to like chill. <laughs> so I'll actually show you guys what I just opened because it's really cool and I'm very excited about it now. So I'll show you guys this while we give people a moment here to get on. And then lots of Disney news this week. That's why I decided that this is going to be a whole Disney news live stream because I'm just so, so much is going on. I was going to go back to the whole like fifth park, third park thing, but just so much Disney news I had to touch on. So I hope you guys are ready for all of those updates. So as I said, we're giving people here a moment and yes, let's see. Let's see what I just got. Okay. <laughs> I'm so out of breath right now. So, literally out of the packaging. Oh my gosh. I am so, so excited about this. I'll probably throw this in another video at some point as well so you guys can see it like in better detail because I don't know how well this is going to focus and everything, but I, I really wish I would have been able to collect more of these pins when they came out earlier in the year, but these were only available at the parks um, at the very beginning whenever none of this stuff happened. <laughs> um, this is the I Whoa. This is the I Collect series, and these are actually pins of pin books. Genius. Love it. So, love the background. This is very, um, like, referencing the Disney pin store at Disney Springs, which I just love. Like, this is just love just love it. This was $17.99. It has two pin backs. And as I mentioned, this is like a little pin binder and it is blue. I like just opened this. I don't even know what, what this looks like. Um, it says I collect food pins, which is literally, yes, so accurate. And it has this nice little clear cutesy little part and we open it up. Oh my goodness. Look at all those little food, little pins in there. Oh my god. So, so cute. I love this. I'm, I'm gonna put it on my pin board here after this live stream. I might have to go on eBay or something to look up some of the other ones because this is so, so cool. Alrighty, so gotten some more people on here. Thank you guys so, so much. Don't forget to like this live stream here as we get into the Disney news. And speaking of Disney news here, my cup for the day is this really fun, colorful Disney Parks Icons water bottle. As you guys can see, it is, um, it's seen better days. <laughs> I've used this, like, to death. And I think I'll keep using it until they all scratch off. <laughs> so that's super exciting. I just, I keep looking at the pin. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Um, all right. Yes, so quick little outfit of the day here. I have my light up Mickey Mouse balloon ears. I feel like that's very Disney Park celebration vibe. And then I also have my Disney home shirt, which I love. I wore this to the parks like years ago and I'm, I'm just I'm so, so excited about it. So I pulled up here all of the Disney news things that I need to go over. And these are all like officially announced by Disney. And some of these things could change as I will get to here. Um, Disney actually like sent out different updates and stuff. So this is all just about this very moment, the current Disney news and things that is happening as far as Disney parks go. And the, I have some news for Disney World, Shop Disney, Disneyland, um, Disney Springs, 
and all of that. So someone asked if I will be answering questions. I will try to kind of leave some like space and stuff between the updates, kind of get your feedback. I'd love to hear some of your opinions of what you guys think of the opening of Disney World, any predictions whenever Disneyland might get their opening or when you think they'll open. I'd love to get your feedback here as well and interact with you guys too. So with all of that, um, let, let's just get into the news here. So first, I'll start outside of the U.S. real quick, um, just so we can touch on those before getting into all of the Disney World stuff, because that's where it gets very, very crazy. So here, right now, Tokyo Disney Resort is now, allot uh, now allowing people to shop from home starting Tuesday, actually. So if you live in Japan and you have the um, Tokyo Disney Resort app, you can now shop the merchandise from Tokyo Disney at the comfort of your home since they're not open, which I think is amazing. I loved the Disney Parks Shop app that they used to have where you can check it to see what pins are available, where to get them. I loved it. I thought it was so convenient, so helpful, and I'm so, so sad that they don't have that here in the U.S. anymore. They discontinued that app. Not like a little bit ago, it's been a while and I'm, I'm just really sad about that. So very, very cool, especially Tokyo Disney items. If I lived in Japan and if I had the app to buy stuff online, that would be a mess. <laughs> I would order way too many things. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Um, someone asked if there's anything about Disneyland Paris. Yes, I will get to that here in one moment. Another thing going along with Tokyo Disney, their downtown Disney is called Ice Bakari. I always feel like I'm saying that incorrectly, but that will be opening on June 1st there, and that's, again, like kind of eating, shopping type um, place. Um, the Disney store that is in their downtown Disney, um, Ice Bakari, will open on June 2nd, so just one day after the opening of the whole little area. And also in Japan, June 11th, they will be getting Disney Plus. I didn't realize that um, other countries didn't get it yet. I remember talking about my whole Disney Plus videos and doing the live stream about Disney Plus, and I didn't realize at that time that the UK didn't have Disney Plus yet, or that Japan didn't have Disney Plus yet. So I feel so, so bad, but hopefully you guys can go back and check out that video, um, those live streams and stuff, so you guys can get some of the recommendations that I had for Disney Plus, because I really, really love it, and they're starting to release a lot more shows and things like that. So maybe here later in the summer, I can do another Disney Plus video, um, because in the summer, I'm going to, I plan on watching a lot of shows and movies on there, so I can maybe give you guys a better idea of, like, what shows to watch, what I recommend, what I like, what I didn't like on Disney Plus. So if you guys like to see that, I can do that as well. Someone asked where I got my Mickey balloon ears from. These are from Walt Disney World. They came, oh, well, actually, Disneyland has them too. They came out a couple weeks before they closed, so they're probably still available. These ones are a little bit more expensive because they do actually light up. And I have a uh, Minnie Mouse ear collection or like headband and hat collection on my channel if you guys like to see the other ears I have and where I got them from. Um, because some of them aren't, like, available anymore, so that might be able to help you with those questions. Um, someone asked, to buy Tokyo Disney things on Shop Disney, do you just search Tokyo Disney? There are no Tokyo Disney Resort items on the U.S. Shop Disney. Um, that's just how they just do it by country, so, like, I can't get anything from Tokyo Disney on Shop Disney. That is just, like, an announcement for... Japan. Like, if you live in Japan and you have the Tokyo Disney, like, resort app, just like the My Disney Experience app that Walt Disney World has, um, you used to be able to buy, like, park merchandise on the Disney World app, but now you can't. But, um, Tokyo Disney just started doing that. So that is very, very cool. Um, someone asked what my opinion on pin trading is. I love pin trading and I hope it continues. I think it's a lot of fun. So that is it for Tokyo Disney Resort. Very, very exciting stuff there. Um, finishing up here outside 
of the U.S. parks. Disney uh, theme parks in Paris are allowed to reopen starting June 22nd, but there has been no date announced for Disneyland Paris to reopen, but that is just very, very exciting. It's always very, very exciting to get that kind of news, just knowing that there's a possibility of an announcement and stuff coming soon. This week was very, very exciting as far as the Disney World announcement and maybe getting some more information of a possible opening like time frame for Disneyland as well. So good stuff there. Very, very excited for that. Um, also kind of outside of uh, the U.S. parks here for a minute, Adventures by Disney is extending their cancellation policy through August 31st. Um, there, it's like a whole like flexible cancellation policy because some people had, of course, things planned and things canceled and things arranged and stuff. So they are just making that more flexible so people can um, figure out their different cancellations and things like that. Um, so that is it for um, the rest of the international parks here. Let's take a stop in California for some Disneyland updates. So uh, again, I'm just reading these word for word to make sure that I don't um, misinform you guys of the information. So the California governor approves the full stage two reopening for Orange County, but there are no opening dates set for Disneyland yet. So that's just a kind of another little update with um, Disneyland. And they also stated here the next day after that first announcement that the, that the Disneyland Resort can reopen under Stage 3 of California's reopening plan. Um, the governor states that Stage 3 could begin as early as June. Of course, that's not confirmed or anything like that. But once California hits their Stage 3 mark, um, there could they could open Disneyland. They could announce the opening date. Um, that will just kind of depend on what the theme parks decide and how things are going at that time. So we have some questions here. Um, someone said, when did I start? I started at 2 p.m. Eastern time. You're not late. You're good. Thank you so, so much for joining. Perfect. Thank you guys so, so much. Yes, I post videos every single day at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Um, if you guys would like to check that out. Okay, let's see. Um, merchandise. Merchandise. Love the merchandise. <laughs> so, of course, we have some merchandise updates for you guys. So, the Disney Castle Collection, which was like the pin set, the puzzle, the ornament, the notebook, um, and the figurine that is this display up here. Um, that is by monthly. I know I talked about it in that video. We were very confused of the term by monthly that Shop Disney stated. It's very, very confusing in my opinion. So by monthly can either mean released like twice a month or released every other month. So this castle collection is by monthly, meaning every other month. So this whole pin series won't be done until like fall of 2021, which to me is just very frustrating and very just sad. Like so, so disappointed in that truly. Um, it, people are gonna forget about it or just give up on the collection. I feel like that it's just gonna take forever. And just, just kind of remembering to do that every other month, it's gonna be very easy to forget and I don't know. I, I wish it was just like once a month kind of thing. And then that could be another collection we could have this year. I just, I don't know. I, I'd love to hear your um, opinions on that because it's just very disappointing to me. Uh, very frustrating in that way. But enough of the negativity here because we got the photos of the next series for the Castle Collection that will be released, and that is Frozen-themed. So it's Arendelle um, Castle here. It is coming out in the UK on June 9th, but there has been no official date for the US um, Castle Collection release. So it will most likely, I'm assuming, be the same day, but that is not confirmed. Only UK June 9th for this Castle Collection. Oh no, it's not gonna focus. Okay. I, I have it plugged in, so you guys, I can't really get it much closer, but you guys might be able to see there just another little picture of it. Shop Disney has it posted. Disney has it posted. I've seen it um, filtered all through Instagram and stuff recently. 
Um, if you guys like to check it out more there, I put it on my story. Uh, it looks very, very cool. I love those pins a lot. It's just the whole bi-monthly thing. It's just kind of like, ugh. Uh, questions to go along with that. Am I excited for the Minnie Mouse, the main attraction, Peter Pan collection? Absolutely. I love those pin sets. I did the Tiki Room pin set review, if you guys missed that, on Thursday. And I kind of shared my experience to go along with that. So hoping for a better month here in June for that whole release day. And I'll try to do another vlog along with that so you guys can also see how it goes again <laughs> a lot of time lapses are involved <laughs> um someone asked if i think they will do pin training once the parks reopen so i've kind of been watching disney springs with that because world of disney opened this week and i tried looking and stuff seeing if any cast members were wearing pin lanyards and from what i saw they were not yet and of course that doesn't reflect to what the parks might do once we get to july it may like be allowed then uh, the, Disney hasn't made any statements on it so I'm just kind of guessing right now um I feel like maybe they could do it depending on like how things go but at the same time they also may not do it depending on how things go so as of right now I it's it's hard it's, I think it's too soon to tell uh when they will do that but I'm hoping that they will or if they don't that hopefully here maybe next year they will go back to doing it Alrighty, so the other shop Disney announcement is that the Disney stores release updates on their phased reopening. Face masks will be required for entry, and there will be no limited release items or in-store activities. So as far as the Disney stores opening, from what I have read, is that you will need to check the shop Disney website and do the whole store locator section to see if your store has any opening dates and that may also depend on like the malls that they are in and different things like that but that is just the information released from the disney store and there will be no limited release items i believe until all of the disney stores are open but that has not been specified just yet but um limited release items being the Minnie mouse the main attraction items and things like that so they don't have people lining up outside the stores and worrying about the whole social distancing thing and having people uh like run into the stores trying to get the items and kind of causing some chaos <laughs> with that so i totally understand why they're doing that although i am looking forward to going back and doing one of the in-person events because I really, really enjoyed that as well. Um, someone said that they think they're going to Disney Spring in, in a week or so. That is so awesome. I hope you have a great time. It looks like a lot of fun. It's very, very exciting to um, see that Dig Disney magic like appear again. And I do have a lot of Disney Springs announcements here to go along with that. So if you are going, uh, for sure, then stay tuned here and you guys will get some updates to go along with it. Um, so someone asked if, do you know if Shanghai Disney is closed again? As of right now, no, they're still um, doing good. They still have all of their different um, roles in place and all of that. So no, I think I think they're they're doing okay. Um, someone said they're going to Disney for their senior trip in four years. That's so, so awesome. Well, I hope you have a great trip uh, once you are able to go. At that point, there will be a lot of cool stuff open um, at the parks and stuff. So it will be a, a great trip, I hope, and I hope you have a great time when you go. I am looking forward to going as well, and um, it just, it's just so, so exciting. So enough of Disney Store here. Now let's take a look at general Walt Disney World information before we get into the Disney Springs stuff, because as I mentioned, the Disney Springs stuff is crazy. Someone said Epcot update will be completed by then. Yes, I hope so. Um, as far as construction goes, um, yeah, I, I hope they'll be able to pick it back up soon and be able to uh, finish it, but if, I, I feel like it would be done by then as well. Um, someone asked what the cup of the day is. It is this fun kind of dot Disney Parks print. So you guys can see it's very, very warm. Um, I've used it to death, but I love it. Uh, let's, um, I, 
I wish they still had this like whole design because I think it's very, very cool. Alrighty. Someone said that the Country Bear Jamboree wishables um, were on Shop Disney, but they're sold out again. Yes, and I was not able to get them um, whenever they were released, and I don't really plan on getting the Country Bear Jamboree wishables. Someone said, do I know when the Disney stores are opening? There is no exact date. Um, they mainly depend like depend on the state and everything, I'm pretty sure. So you just have to just check your local Shop Disney like website, check the store locator and stuff and see when possible um, times are for them. But as of right now, I don't think any have announced it just yet. Someone asked if Disney World does a grad night. They do not. That is just Disneyland because Disneyland's mainly like locals and stuff like that. So they mainly do that for like, um, they do more of like those nighttime events since there's like locals will come and stuff for dinner and stuff at the park. So they're able to do those additional picketed events there. Someone asked, is the paint done on the castle at, at Magic Kingdom? Um, I do not know. There have not been any like inside pictures of the Magic Kingdom or videos or anything really um, showing the new paint job. Um, I'm hoping it will be done once they reopen. That'd be really, really neat. Um, someone said they sent me a package. Thank you so, so much. All right, so since people are asking questions about Disney World, let's get into the news for that. So Spaceship Earth is now officially closed. If you guys did not know with the whole Epcot overhaul, they um, are closing Spaceship Earth for a refurbishment. And that was to officially close on May 22nd. I'm sorry, May 26th. They were um, supposed to officially close. So since we were not able to go and enjoy it one last time, I know a lot of like the vloggers and bloggers and everyone was very, very sad that they were not able to go say their final goodbye to Spaceship Earth because we, of course, did not know that this was going to happen. So super sad. I'm glad I was able to ride it one last time on my November trip. And I have all of my Disney Park vlogs linked down below of this live stream if you guys like to check those out here after this live stream uh you guys can see kind of my last little enjoyment there of spaceship earth it was a lot of fun and uh, my disney experience now shows that it is officially closed so they'll probably start the construction on that by the time they reopen and things like that so it's sad it's sad but i'm very, very excited for the refurbishment of spaceship earth um looking looking forward to it Next up, as I mentioned in my whole reaction to Walt Disney World opening video, they are opening June 11th. Very, very exciting. And I will have that video linked down below in this live stream as well if you guys like to see my whole reaction and kind of some more in-depth, kind of more in-depth information about the opening of Walt Disney World because I will not be going over some of those things in this live stream. I'm just going to kind of recap and share some of the updates um, based off of that video. If you guys, again, did not check that out, it is down below because Disney has made some additional statements and updates before, after I made that video. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um... Someone asked this display on my wall is new. It is not. I've actually had it there for a while. Um, room tour coming tomorrow. I, I I can't think right now. The room tour will be coming tomorrow. My room cleaning video I posted yesterday. If you guys like to see kind of my displays getting set up, but the full room tour so you guys can see all of the displays that you guys see behind me and stuff will be posted tomorrow at 2 p.m. Okay, next up, um, I got this question um, a lot in the comments of that Disney World opening announcement video, and at the time of filming that, there was no additional information about this, and that is the hotels. So as far as the hotels go, 
Disney Vacation Club's resorts and the Fort Wilderness Campground will reopen to members and guests on June 22nd at Walt Disney World. So the DVC hotels will be for like the Disney the uh, Disney Vacation Club people and things like that on June 22nd because a lot of the people that go for DVC don't always go to the parks. So that's why they can like still go on their little trip. Um, here to go along with that, um, an update as far as the hotels. I did throw down below in the comments at the time that day Disney did announce that the hotels will reopen on July 11th. Since then, they have retracted that statement. So they are no longer saying that they will be opening on June 11th because of the NBA and the soccer leagues and stuff possibly going to Walt Disney World's Worldwide of Sports Complex to finish off their seasons. So they are kind of not really saying much about general hotels because they are trying to see what resorts they can house the players at. So that's why they had to kind of cancel and stop um, some of the hotel reservations was because of they like they had to wait and see um, the um, updates with that. Um, okay, I'm sorry, my, my screen just like totally glitched and everything. So, okay, we're back. We're good. Okay. All right, so July 11th, again, has been retracted from Disney. Um, hotels, as of right now, are pretty much unknown besides the DVC ones that I just mentioned. So we'll probably hear more about that in the coming weeks and stuff once they figure out the new kind of dining planning system and fast pass planning system and all that, how all that's going to work. Um, that information about the hotels will probably be posted with that. Um, going along here with the opening July 11th, Walt Disney World to hold previews for annual pass holders, DVC members, and Club 33 members ahead of the July 11th reopening. So, if you are one of those things, um, you have the possibility to, um, I guess, get like first access to the parks in a way, like to be able to book your reservation because Walt Disney World is now doing the reservation system very, very similar to Shanghai Disney, where you have to kind of plan in advance, like what day you're going, you have to get a reservation for the park. Um, so to go along with that, Walt Disney World has cancel is canceling all dining reservations, experiences, Disney dining plans, and fast pass selections through 2020. They officially announced that yesterday. And that is, again, mainly because they're trying to figure out the new system for people to be able to book reservations and hotels and things to go along with that. So they basically had to like clear everything so they can set up this new system. Um, also to go along with the new policies and stuff for the new opening and everything like that, they have changed their mask requirements. It was originally for three and up had to wear masks at the parks and at Disney Springs. Now it is ages two and older have to wear masks. So they bumped it down um, in age. So three-year-olds now have to wear masks uh, and two-year-olds have to wear masks and stuff too. So very interesting stuff there. That is a newer announcement. Alrighty, let's see here. So Walt Disney World then um, began to contact guests regarding the new theme park reservation system, which as I just mentioned, they are currently working on right now. So guests with existing tickets get priority access. So like if you had a trip planned or if it was canceled because of all of this, they get first access for reservations for this new reservation system so they are able to get their trip in this year once the parks reopen which i think is very nice and that's like how it should be since those people did like miss their trips and things like that and also speaking of tickets speaking of all of this the mickey's not so scary halloween party tickets as of this moment as of this live stream 
are still valid. So that is really the only thing that they didn't like remove from their whole um, planning system and stuff. So as of right now, Mickey's Not So Scary is still going to be happening. And I think that it could, again, this has not been confirmed or anything like that. I mean, who knows what the fall will be like, but I think it could still happen because it's a tick, it's a separately ticketed event and it already has a lower capacity than the park does because it is a separate ticket event. And um, with that, they can also kind of lower the amount of tickets they sell if they would like. So people will be able to spread out and things a lot more. Really, the only thing that I think that would change um, about the Halloween party is the character meet and greets, which we're still not sure how those will work just yet. Um, as of what they've been doing at Shanghai Disney, they've had characters up on the like train station and stuff, just waving and stuff. And I just think that's really, really cool how you're still able to see the characters. And if that's what we have to do for now, then I think that'll be really, really cool maybe to see the different Halloween characters and stuff on different buildings and things like that. I think it it would still work out very, very well. So you still get that additional experience with them. So that is all of the general Walt Disney World information. Again, that's a lot to, to uh, process and figure out and stuff. Because as I said, they wiped all the fast passes, dining reservations. The hotels are um, currently kind of unknown as far as what is happening with those. But I'm sure soon we will hear some more information about those. So I apologize, I don't know much more. But unfortunately, none of us really know much more about that. That is just the kind of official statements and news from Walt Disney World. So um, some questions here before I hop into all of the Disney Springs stuff, because there is a lot to go over with that since we have World of Disney open this week as um, along with other Disney locations. Um, someone also said that no fireworks and parades for now. Yes, um, that is the plan. Um, I'm, I'm just very, very interested to see what happens once the parks reopen. Like, um, you know, when, when will they decide to reintroduce those things into the parks? And if they do that, are they going to have more marks in the ground showing people where to stand so they are more apart from each other? It just, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how all of that goes. So speaking of parks, speaking of opening things, let's jump into Disney Springs information. Um, okay, so things that reopened this week. Um, Keeley's, Francesca's, Toomey, and Tommy Bahama reopened this week and are doing um, kind of cashless payment and stuff if you'd like, things like that. So um, a lot of these stores are you know, adapting to this new normal as of right now and are adjusting, of course, their different things for the Disney Springs guidelines and the guidelines for that area and things like that. So things are going well from everything I've seen. Like they have the plastic and stuff when you check out. Again, touchless payment is being um, kind of more introduced into different stores that weren't already doing it. Um, masks and all that. I know some stores like Vera Bradley and different places like that are also selling masks at Disney Springs too. So if, you know, yours is getting bad while you're there or something like that, um, you can also get them, but you have to have one to get into Disney Springs before like getting, like buying one of those. But it is cool just seeing like how different places are having their own like spin and theme to them. <laughs> Okay, here. So the other th um, place that opened is Lefty's Left Hand Store. I think it's very, very cool. It's like a little cart in Disney Springs that also opened this week. And that's kind of good since that store is like kind of all outside. It's just like a cute little cart. So that is, it's just very, very exciting to see all of this Disney Springs stuff reopen. Just getting to see all of the different things reopen. Now, the videos I've watched and the pictures I've seen, it's cool to just see all the doors open and just people enjoying it. 
Now, for the world of Disney opening, this is so this is this is great. <laughs> A lot of lot of stuff happening here, but very, very exciting. I was so, so excited to see um, what was in the store. At, like, because there was holiday stuff. There were, like, Easter stuff, spring break stuff. And now they have the whole summer display set up. And it was very, very cool. So the day they opened, which was Wednesday the 27th, um, there was a six-hour wait to get into Disney Springs. Um, I'm sorry, to get into World of Disney. And Disney Springs was actually at capacity um, that day, which was insane. Uh, but, like, everyone was so, so excited. So it was, like, just really, really neat. So with that being six hours, they didn't want a bunch of people standing in a line um, trying to do the whole six feet thing. They wanted people to kind of spread out throughout the rest of Disney Springs. So they set up a virtual queue. A virtual queue for a store is just, I, wow. That is just insane to me. Just, I don't even know what else to say. It's just very, like, surprising. But uh, that also, of course, helped with the different rules and stuff. So, I mean, I think it would have made sense. It would have been nice to be able to go get your virtual queue, go get something to eat, head into World of Disney, and then peace out for the day. I mean, I I think it, it makes sense. Like, it's good. Um, They haven't had to do that since, from what I know, Um, because now you can just kind of, like, walk in or just wait in line because they're only limit, uh, letting a limited amount of people inside of World of Disney, which is, again, very, very nice as well. So good to know that they have that in place if needed. And I really think that that's what's going to be at the parks. Um, depending on the attraction, will be virtual queue, very similar to what they're doing for Rise of the Resistance. And it'll be very interesting to see how Rise of the Resistance goes, if they're, like, how that whole virtual queue thing will work, or if they'll even need it. I don't... No clue. I'm very, very excited to see how it goes. Um, another thing that opened at Disney Springs was the Daily Poutine, which is another little kind of walk-up food stand. Okay, so you guys are going to like this as well, because this also has to do with merchandise and Disney Springs. I saw this on Wednesday and was just, like, blown, like, mind blown. At World of Disney... On the 27th, they had the Minnie Mouse, the main attraction stuff from March. And you guys know how frustrating it has been on Shop Disney to get the Minnie Mouse, the main attraction stuff. So whenever they had it at Disney Springs, that was just like, what? Now, of course, they didn't have any of like, the past few months. It was only March's stuff, which was the Mad Tea Party stuff. But still just very, very surprising to see it there. Did not expect to see that. That was one of, like, the first posts I saw. And I was just like, people are trying to get this stuff online and, like, no one can get any of it. And what makes it even more, like, frustrating and sad is that the items were limit 10 per person because they were just trying to get rid of all of this main, attra uh, main attraction stuff. Like, that to me is just insane. The Minnie Mouse the main attraction items from March, at World of Disney on opening day, limit 10 per person. I just think it's so sad. Like, if you were at the back of the line, middle line, whatever, if you were, like, you know, the second person in or whatever, you wouldn't have had a chance to get any of those items because there's pictures of people who bought, like, 10 of the backpack, 10 of this. Like, insane. Yes, see, a lot of you guys are agreeing. It's so, wow. It's so, I mean, Why? It should have been, like, five or something. They knew people were going to buy it, but they just did it ten per person just to get rid of it and things like that. And they got rid of it very, very quickly. It sold out very, very fast, of course. It's just, wow. So, like, sad in a way. Like, I just, I can't believe it. So, so crazy to me. So crazy. So, for those of you who are going to Disney Springs more recently, before the parks open, you are able to get a Dole Whip at Disney Springs, if you did not know that. They also have the churro stand as well. I loved how downtown Disney in Disneyland had the churro cart because at that time, Disney World, their Disney Springs did not have a churro cart. So whenever I went to Disney Springs, I had a churro. I'm sorry. Whoa. 
when I went to Disneyland, downtown Disney, when they had the churro cart, I got a churro every single day because we didn't even have to go into the park to get a delicious churro. So if you're looking for some Disney park snacks, you can get the churro and the Dole Whip at Disney Springs. So if you're going to Florida, stopping by Disney Springs, and you're not going to the park on that visit, you can still get your favorite treats. I think that's great. I love it. I love, I just, I love how you like don't have to go in the park to be able to get those things. Very, very cool to me. Okay. So, um, taking a break from the food for a moment. Um, I saw some of you guys mentioning that yes, stormtroopers are walking around um, the tops of some of the buildings at Disney Springs. I thought that was amazing. I saw that the other day. I thought that was so, so amazing. Like, I, that just made me smile, even though I wasn't even there. Being able to see the characters and stuff, um, they were making, like, jokes about the masks and things like that because, you know, they have to wear the helmets and stuff. So they were saying, like, how they like uh, the guest masks and stuff, too, and things like that. I just thought that was really, really cool how they made it more of, like, a positive thing, like, happy thing. And being able to see the characters the theming and stuff, just trying to bring a little bit of Disney back to it, I thought was just really, really cool. I'm interested to see if they do any of the other Disney characters and not just the Star Wars characters, like, walking along the um, buildings of Disney Springs. I think it'd just be cool, like, every week if they did, like, a different character series or something, just to, like, mix it up and give people um, a little bit of magic. So if you guys did not see those videos of the stormtroopers uh, kind of talking and stuff uh, at Disney Springs. Uh, just search that on YouTube. It's They're really, really cool to watch. So back to the food here for a moment. BB Wolf's Sausage Company, which is another um, walk-up little food stand, has reopened at Disney Springs as well. And the Spice and Tea Exchange has also opened too. And they had cast members standing um, before you walked in with hand sanitizer and stuff. So a lot of those things all around, um, trying to keep people safe. Uh, another store at Disney Springs that I really, really like, um, besides World of Disney, is the Market Co-op store. Very, very cool store. Has a, not, a lot of unique and cool Disney items. They also reopened this week, same day as World of Disney. Um, they also had a line not as big as World of Disney because World of Disney has a lot of the items, a lot of the same items, but Market Co-op still does have some different items in there too. So very, very cool store if you've never been or if you are going, definitely check it out because I just love the setup of the store. Very, very neat to me. Um, super cool. I love how there's just a the conversation about churros happening. <laughs> I love, I love the sunshine churro stand. Um, so, so good. So good. Um, another restaurant update here. The, um, Cooks of Dublin, um, opening June 3rd at Disney Springs and the Raglin, Raglin Road is opening on June 10th. So more places more food places, more stores are beginning to reopen here as the weeks go on. May, like trying to see, you know, how things are going, you know, what it's going to be like. Maybe they're getting their finishing touches in place to make the store more like adapted to this new, like, all these new rules and things like that. So I think to see more of Disney Springs come to life once again. Um, also, yesterday, Sprinkles, which is the little cupcake shop at Disney Springs, reopened, and they were doing little, like, cupcake giveaways and things like that, so it was just super, like, exciting thing. Give people a smile. You know, it's just a good time. Someone said Homecoming is not open yet. I know. I love Homecoming. If you guys have never had it, I would highly recommend. But one place that is open that I would also highly recommend is Chicken Guy. I, <laughs> I love Chicken Guy. So good. 
they're I love it. I love their chicken. So good. Me and Disney chicken and churros and popcorn and that's literally I could eat that every single day and it'd be great. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Someone said, am I busy making a vid for tomorrow? Yes, I was actually, before I hopped on the live stream here, I was editing the room tour video for tomorrow. Um, I've been working on it since like 9.30 this morning. And uh, it's still not done yet. So after this live stream, I'm going to finish the room tour video. So... Also, I realized whenever I did my Disney restaurants video, I didn't do Disney Springs. I forgot to do my list for Disney Springs. So once I go back to the parks and things like that, or maybe here soon in the summer if I need a video or something like that, I will share my Disney Springs um, restaurant recommendations because there are so, so many good ones that a lot of people don't know about, or if you're, you know, visiting for your first time, or if you've only tried one place or something, I have many other recommendations that I would highly, highly recommend. So I can definitely um, share that in a, a future Disney vlog or do another kind of sit down video going over my favorite Disney Springs um, dining locations. And um, also kind of going along with the whole dining locations, um, the My Disney Experience app, like where you can mobile order food, um, that now shows um, times to like arrive to get your food. And you can now do Apple Pay, Disney gift cards, and Disney rewards on the My Disney Experience app, which I think is so amazing because whenever I was at Disneyland, I did the mobile ordering a lot for Flo's V8 Cafe. And something I just found, like, really frustrating is that you couldn't use gift cards. And I had some gift cards that I was using for, like, food and things like that. And I had to use, like, um, like the normal, like, credit card payment and stuff. And I love now how you can use gift cards on the app. I just think it's so, so helpful. Like, a lot more convenient if you're trying to use up a gift card. You can now do that. So, super happy about that. Um, someone said I should do a sit-down video of my favorite um, Disney World attractions. I did do a top 10 video kind of recently, um, within just the past few months here, um, about my top favorite just Disney attractions. And um, I can definitely, if you guys want me to do one just for Disney World, I can do that. But a lot of them were mentioned in there, too. Um, okay. All right. I'm sorry I keep saying um. <laughs> um, also, I just said it again. Oh my goodness. Um, oh my god, I keep doing it. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. Okay, we're just, we're just gonna move on here. Okay, Lego Store also reopened at Disney Springs. All of the interactive locations are like we're removed from the store so like there aren't um kids and, or people just like touching things and doing all of that so that makes sense why they took those out for now and all of the building stations you know they'd have the tables you know outside where they do the car racing and stuff those are um unavailable right now because of people touching things and stuff like that <laughs> oh you guys are <laughs> thank you guys so much <laughs> oh my god all right, that's hilarious. Thank you so much, guys. Um, Disney Store reopened. Oh, my God. Lego Store reopened. I am just... There is so much to talk about. Okay. We're good now. <laughs> Back to Disney food talking. Um, the popcorn stands, of course, are also at Disney Springs. And they do have the popcorn buckets there. They don't have a lot of them. Um, there's just the one uh, Disney Parks one and uh, the just normal like cardboard ones as well. So if you're looking to get some Disney popcorn or a popcorn bucket, they have it there at Disney Springs. And they are still 
doing the refillable popcorn buckets, which I think is really great. So if you have a popcorn bucket, uh, you should be able to refill it um, with one of the newer ones that you purchase. So if you're there for like the day and you get popcorn in early in the morning, you should still be able to refill it, which is great. I, I'm surprised they're still doing that. Honestly, I didn't know if they were going to be able to. Someone asked if I ever tried the Mickey bars from Walmart. I did, and I do have a video of that up on my channel if you guys like to check those out, where I tried the different Disney ice creams and stuff. They're so, so good. So, Sephora also opened this week. Paddlefish and Terralina um, opened as well, and they also did... Uh, open their outdoor bars for like to-go drinks and things like that at Disney Springs as well. And of course the weather, very, very nice. It'd be wonderful to sit outside too. Someone asked if Blaze Pizza is open. Yes. The Blaze Pizza at Disney Springs is open and um, they do have a limited menu. I believe that is one of the ones that adjusted their menu a little bit. And the last Disney Springs update here that I have is that Under Armour opened at Disney Springs. As I mentioned, a lot of the stores are starting to open at Disney Springs, which is just very, very exciting. And Under Armour being one of them that opened yesterday. As of today, I have not seen any news really um, about uh, the parks or about Disney Springs, except for... Um, someone did post today that they now have the Mickey Mouse pretzels at Disney Springs too. So lots of really great Disney parks snacks available at Disney Springs. That is super exciting. Oh my goodness, that is very, very exciting. You can get your, your Dole Whip, your Mickey pretzel, uh, the popcorn, and just enjoy Disney Springs. Super exciting. Super, super exciting, guys. I think I'm going to start to wrap it up here. But thank you all so, so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more daily Disney videos. Every day, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, room tour tomorrow. Um, there should be the Q&A. This week, I will be doing a Q&A um, age reveal video later in the week. And you guys will be able to comment all of your Q&A questions in the room tour video tomorrow. So I can maybe answer one of your questions you have about my Disney collection. Um, please comment just like Disney related questions, not like really any personal um, questions. I will be doing my age announcement though. So, um, you know, anything along those lines would be good. So thank you all again so, so much. Stay safe. You know, wash your hands, the mask, all that. Uh, if you are going to Disney Springs soon, I hope you have a wonderful time. Um, it looks so beautiful there. So, so nice. So sunny. Uh, very, very exciting that all of the new stores and stuff are opening. And I will try to keep you guys posted um, on any other additional updates, like big announcements as well. I may do, you know, another video in the future, you know, uh, how I did with the Disney World poll announcement. Maybe in the future here, I'll do one for Disneyland, depending on um, what they announce, you know, in the coming months and things like that. So stay tuned to this channel. Check out my Twitter and Instagram linked down below of this live stream too, because I do post uh, updates there that I do not always share here on YouTube and there's a lot of behind the scenes pictures and updates when I post videos and things like that. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys go check those out as well. Um, with all of that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this update. I hope that informed you of the newest Disney announcements. And as always, remember to do what you love, guys. Do what makes you happy. Have a wonderful Saturday. Enjoy the weather if you can. <laughs> um, have a great day, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh no. Oh no. My light fell over. <laughs> Bye guys.